Nick Hujalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, the Natty King, the last true Natty Crusader, the one true heir to O'Hearn's Natty throne. Welcome back to another video. Today is a rest and recovery day, which means I did some abs and cardio, as you can see on the screen right now. And every single rest and recovery day, what I've always done, what I'm always doing right now, is that I answer comments from my YouTube videos. I get some good questions, so I use these rest and recovery days when I'm not training to answer some great questions. So let's get into them. But before we get into them, guys, if you want to get in great shape naturally, if you want full access to all my training programs, the Advanced Bro Split is being released this week, at the end of this week. If you want 24-7 support from me, then join my community, the Mendez Cartel. I can help you in there. Full access to all my programs, Zoom calls with me. I'll provide you with full support in there. So join now, click the link in the description. All right, people, let's get to work. First question, would you recommend all flat bench movements from my workout? I do dips, flat bench, dumbbell, incline dumbbell and cable flies from junior 2912. I do zero flat work. I do zero flat, but I haven't flat benched probably in four years. I, I don't do it because it just doesn't have any aesthetic or athletic carryover. Like flat bench is a lift. If you, if you're, the only time you should do flat bench is if you, you're a powerlifter. So if you're competing for a powerlifting competition because they do the movement, then do it. If you're, if you're bodybuilding and you want to maximize aesthetics, and if you want to maximize strength carryover in every other lift other than just a flat bench, then do incline, incline. Incline, incline, incline. If you want a great chest aesthetically, do incline. If you want to build a great physique and a physique that has great athletic carryover to other movements, incline. Most people, when they do flat, first of all, they cheat the movement. All these powerlifters, all these powerlifters that train in my gym, they flat bench, like the way they flat bench, they arc, and it's all leg drive. It's, it's, very, it's very little upper body. Like you're not going to build a good chest flat benching the way powerlift is flat bench. Saying that, if you want to do a little bit of flat bench and you don't cheat the form, you, you can still get something out of the movement. But I would always recommend for anyone, do incline only. Incline, 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 incline. If you want to build a good chest naturally, incline. Incline is the greatest exercise for building a chest. Incline barbell, incline dumbbells. Those two exercises alone for chest will build you an incredible chest if, if that's all you did. You do not need to be doing flat. I've taken flat, I flat out my rotation. I haven't done it, like I said, in four years. It just has no carryover. It, it just, it, aesthetically, it does not help you build a good chest. It really doesn't. And especially the way people execute a flat bench, even, even more so, it's not gonna help you build a good chest, a good upper body. Incline dumbbell press and incline barbell press are two of the greatest exercises you can do for upper body development, for upper chest development, and a great chest is defined by the upper chest. Most people have overdeveloped lower pecs. Very few people have overdeveloped upper, upper pecs. The upper chest is where a great chest is built. That plate of armor look up top. So focus only on doing incline. Only do incline, don't do flat. For, for both bodybuilding and strength. Get crazy strong on incline. My best incline ever, I think I've done three plates for a triple. 140 kilo for three, which on incline is pretty decent, but I haven't done flat in years. Uh, I, I won't go back to it. Mike O'Hearn, the greatest of all time, he hasn't done flat bench in probably since the, since, since the 90s. This guy hasn't done flat bench in 30 years because he realizes it as well. And he's the reason, he's the reason I stopped doing flat bench. He, he's the, his, his advice, his teachings showed me why I shouldn't do flat bench. So Mike O'Hearn hasn't done it. I'm not going to do it. I don't, flat bench is an absolutely, in my opinion, useless exercise. All right, guys, next question. From IF9716. How long are you bulking for? New sub here, loving the videos. Thank you, my friend. I'm bulking for probably another at least till the end of the year, at least. I'll probably start cutting in January. I wanna hit a big 290 to 300 kilo deadlift. And if I wanna do that, I've gotta be in a surplus for, for a, you know, a few more months. So definitely a few more months, at least till the turn of the year, I'm gonna be bulking. 
So yeah, still still a while. I've still got I still got some decent room to push. I don't think I'm crazy fat. I still got a little bit more room to push. So I'm going to keep bulking, and I really want to hit some big strength goals as well. All right, last question. Those snatch grips look brutal, man. I'll have to try them. From Nathy four six zero two, Natty or Nathy four six zero two. He's got Natty in his name. Yeah, snatch grip deadlifts probably for me the hardest exercise I've ever done. Snatch grips. I mean, they they are the most brutal, horrific, most painful. Yesterday's session was one of the hardest sessions I've done in a bloody bloody long time. Just checking, just checking the mics on. Yesterday's session was one of the hardest sessions I've done in a bloody, bloody long time. Um, absolutely brutal, horrible snatch grip deadlifts. The range of, the extended range of motion, it's so hard to lock out. But then when you go back to conventional, man, are you so much stronger. That's why I always tell people, go away from conventional for a while. Do snatch grips for eight weeks in an, in an accumulation phase. Eight to ten weeks, like I'm doing now, I'm doing an accumulation phase before my peak where I'm doing a harder deadlift variation, doing snatch grips. When I go back to my deadlift, you know, normal conventional for the peak, I'm going to be so much stronger. Go away, do snatch grips for eight to ten weeks, and then do conventional after eight to ten weeks. You'll feel like, you'll feel crazy strong. you feel like you're gaining 50 pounds and you're dead. you feel like you're gaining 20, 40 kilo and you're dead. That's how much easier conventional is compared to snatch grips. So that's the best way to get stronger, man. And as they say, the hardest exercise is are normally the best. All right, guys, those are the only questions I'm going to answer today. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section of this video. I'll answer them on my next rest and recovery day. Nick Kajalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, the Natty King. Guys, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Join the Mendez Cartel. I can really help you inside there. Link in the description. Or it should be somewhere on the screen right now. And as always, people, long live King Charles III and God bless Sir Winston Churchill.